What's up, y'all? It's Peaches, your favorite motherfucking nail tech. Welcome back to my channel. You guys, look how gorgeous this set is. I have the inspo pick up for you guys. Tell me in the comments below, did I nail it or did I fail it, okay? So this video is going to be about how to do nails on smaller nail beds, especially with a lot of cuticle skin okay before we get into it we're gonna do our subscriber shout out which goes to islands vibes nails design subscribe since thursday y'all already know subscribe turn them damn notifications on because you do not want to miss these daily uploads okay so the first thing is first i'm leaving in this clip of me clipping her cuticle skin her cuticle area now technically this is the epinicium but this loose skin is what I pushed up with the cuticle pusher and I'm going in with my cuticle scissors and trimming it if I did not push her cuticle skin okay and the cuticle is that area where the skin grows on the actual nail plate if I didn't push this skin up it would not have exposed this loose skin here and basically all that area that wasn't pushed up you're gonna have lifting to a to a sense you know what I'm saying and if it's not lifting what's really gonna happen is that um you're gonna have empty space when you go ahead and you file, you do your finish filing around the cuticle. I'm so sorry for the for the lighting on this, but it's basically going to be empty space. And you'll see further on in the video what I'm talking about. So this is not sped up. And the reason why I don't use nippers is because you can severely hurt somebody. Now, a lot of this skin is not actually dead skin and a lot of this skin is rigid and tough and I do not wanna hurt her. So I am just trimming away what I can now. And after I did this and I immediately Put these scissors to the side because they need to be cleaned they need to be sanitized and disinfected okay normally my nail scissors when i'm cutting tips i'll put them back into my drawer um and then you know i'll wash them like throughout the week but once they do this to somebody's skin once i clip somebody's skin i do not put those scissors back in my drawer okay can't do it so you don't need to worry about getting all the skin up right here and i'll show you later on when i do my finished filing around the cuticle area that the um, e-file is basically going to get rid of any excess skin, okay? So here we go. Here's the colors I'm using. Second Nude, Milky White, Candy Yum Yum, and of course my Young Nails Core Clear. So this part of the video, the application is sped up. And it's sped up a little bit because you guys have seen application on my channel so many times. I really just want to go ahead and point out some of the things tips and tricks if you will that are helpful when doing nails that are on the smaller side so okay first off let's take a look at her nails right because this nail is going to be an ombre so we, we just gonna watch me ombre for a sec so look looking at her nails they look like oh her nails are so small and this that, and the other her nails are small however they are a little bit wide as well um most nails that are on the smaller side won't necessarily be this wide her pinky is actually a size six normally nails that look this small the pinky will be more of like an eight if that makes sense to you guys if you guys are familiar with sizing i use regular standard nail tips okay so uh but you guys are familiar with sizing um so this middle finger is a four her ring finger is a four and so is her index finger and which is like not the most i don't want to say it's not normal everything is normal when it comes to nails i've seen everything and anything just about However, these three fingers are about the same size. So it's like, yes, she does have small fingers, but it's the width that makes her fingers um, sizing wise bigger than what they appear to be. So because of that, you're gonna see how I handle the cuticle area. So of course I lay that first bead however I need to lay it. And you'll also see because her nail beds are shorter, so not only are they small, they're a little bit wide and they're shorter, my first initial bead is gonna take up way more space than normal because the area where her free edge and the tip meet, it's a lot less space to work with and it takes up most of the nail. So you're gonna see, I have to really make sure I go from nail wall to nail wall, which is what I'm touching right here, you see in the cuticle area. Nail wall over here to nail wall over there and make sure there's no gapping. And you need to also make sure that the cuticle beads that you're laying down need to go all the way up to that skin. They don't need to flood, okay, because with cuticles like this, because later on, like I said, later on when I go ahead and do my finish filing, it's going to get rid of the majority of that extra skin because it's very tough and I don't use a lot of bits and things like that because I just feel like it's a little bit unnecessary. I get good results without them. But do you see the, the apex area is also a little bit 
forward than where I normally put it. And that is because she does have a shorter nail area and just based on how her cuticle area is and how her eponychium sits along with the width of her nail, it's gonna have this appearance. Now this is not my first time doing someone who has these type of nail beds and to someone else, they may look, I, again, I don't wanna say regular, or anything like that but there is kind of like a consistent look that you may see among nail beds and especially when they're on the smaller side um, it's it's tricky when someone has small nail beds that are also like the width of someone's nail beds who has like a like a regular size nail bed so let's say maybe where the middle finger is a three the index is a five and I don't know let's say the ring finger is a four something like that okay so now with the ombre, I am tucking the beads into her cuticle area and I'm not dragging it down very far. These two colors, they, they ombre so smoothly, I don't even, it's, don't even take no work. So when you have nail beds that are on the smaller side, whatever you do, you need to make sure that you do not flood the cuticle and you need to make sure that you are laying enough acrylic so that way you have enough strength. Don't be deceived that just because someone's nail bed is small, like I said, her nail beds are small, but they are a little wider than what you would expect. And you can only gather that when you're actually putting the tips on. Because someone might look at these nails and be like, oh, that's easy. Her pinky's going to be an eight. In the no, that's not how it was. And it's nothing wrong with that. It's normal. But just you have to take note of there's not just one type of small nail bed. I want you guys to like get that out of your head. Okay. So I'm taking my time because the application is easy when there's smaller nails but I need to make sure that the apex is sitting correctly in correlation to the extra skin that she's got going again you see how I'm, I'm spending time really tucking that into that cuticle area you know why that is because if I go ahead and file later on and I think I'm gonna go and add a little tiny bead on the ombre later on but if I don't tuck it in really nicely now it's really hit or miss but later on some of that extra skin that gets filed away and it's not painful it's not gonna hurt it just automatically will file away because of how you have to finish file around the cuticle it may expose empty space and then you're gonna have to go in and you're gonna have to add an extra bead and that actually happened on one of the fingers and honestly I wasn't that surprised because it was on the other hand where she did have a lot of excess cuticle skin okay so the pinky we're doing solid white and now that I think about it, like in correlation to the picture, I forgot to do the um, doggone glitter sprinkle because I didn't have those beads, the pixie beads. So we talked about doing glitter, but then also we talked about doing ombre and stuff like that as well. And then with her budget. So I think I probably like subconsciously was like, well, that's going to be out of the budget because we added an ombre nail and things like that. But she was really, really happy with them. So she basically showed me the picture and I was like okay cool like do you want to keep it just nude and white and we add a little bit of pink because she said her dress for her pictures was going to be pink so you know when people show you an inspo pic that's what it is exactly that it inspo pic you ask the client what do they like most about it what's kind of drawing them into the picture and if they came to you for your work they're going to want it to look your way it's very rare that most people want it to look exactly like the picture because number one it's not possible because everyone's different and you can get close but you know just encourage your clients to be like hey do you are you, you want to think about swapping out a color or don't try and get a nude that's exactly like the picture you know find colors that suit the client so that way you have your own version of it but anyways that's neither here nor there I just wanted to go ahead and throw that in so the thumb is really important to get that apex because you do not want to miss out on strength so okay here we go laying down for our ombre now do you see that middle finger the middle finger has the most excess of cuticle skin again technically that is the eponychium but the reason why it looks so pushed up like that is because that skin before I cut it it was completely stuck to her her nail like it was on her nail and I had to push it off of the nail okay but um, that particular finger I believe is the finger that when I went back and did the finish filing around the cuticle when that skin um, 
filed away, I was definitely left with an empty space. And, or maybe, oh, never mind. I'm just kidding. It's the ring finger. Okay, it's the ring finger. I had to figure out which one was going to be new. So, scratch that. <laughs> the ring finger was the one that gave me the little problem. And you know what? It's fine. I just went in, added a slightly bit of primer, because the nails aren't going to lift because I already finished filed them. And I just added the tiniest, tiniest little bead just to fill in that space. And then I went back later on and finished filed again around it. So, once again, nails that are on the smaller side, your first bead, or at least where I like to put mines, I like to put it where the cuticle, not the cuticle, child please. I like to put mines where the um, nail tip and the natural nail meet because her nails are shorter. And you can see through the tip how short her, her nails actually are. Because her nails are shorter, it's higher up and it's going to give more of a look like I'm preparing for an ombre, but I'm not. So look, get in there. You need to tuck that shit in. See how I'm going all around? I'm tucking it in as close as possible underneath that skin because that skin will be gone. Now you need to also take caution that everyone's skin may not look like this and you just have to work with the situation that you got. Okay? I have worked with a lot of different hands. I've worked with this client before and I've also worked with girls who have hands that look like this or I should say nail beds. And I've had nail beds even smaller and wider than this. Okay? So see how I'm really tucking the hell out of that acrylic? I'm trying to really get it underneath that skin because I know it's going to fall away. She still has skin that needs to go ahead and fall away. And you see where the apex area is? I'm just making sure that I have a nice apex because of nails at this length. I mean, well, yeah, this length, but her real nails with this type of shape. It is not going to, like, the apex area is going to sit just slightly a little bit differently. We don't want nothing to look like it's just the apex is like a bump against the skin. You're going to have to kind of bring it forward. And, like, it's going to be kind of like a speed ramp where it kind of slows at a, it starts at a slow in kind and then it, you know, it builds up. That's kind of what you need. That's the look you want with your apexes in general, but especially with nails that are like this. So, this is the nail. I was wrong earlier because this is the nail that still has a little bit of skin that's not all the way lifted up in a way and now look at that white finger or the finger with the white on it you can see it's very very close to that skin but it is not on the skin that's what you need that's really what you need so let me get some more chips hold on okay now look let's see where did I make a mistake okay so i'm putting it as close as possible and you know what shout out to me for actually having my brush work properly like the application on this particular client was like perfect i'm not even gonna lie so look i got up as close as possible are y'all looking are y'all zoomed in close as possible i'm trying to tuck it in tuck it in wipe anything extra down the nail we don't like to waste a lot of product so do you see how i'm looking from the side let's get our apex together but do you see how you can still see a tiny little space up there that's kind of where i went wrong and i don't think i was like paying close enough attention to that where um i went back in and continued tucking it but that tiny little space is in fact too much space like e oh child my my damn laptop it to die <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Damn. I might have to go get my charger and come to freak back. Alright, so look. I'm going to tell you this one little thing. So, that little space, you can barely see it, but if you look closely, that little tiny space is too much. Because if you can physically see the space, basically what's going to happen is either, like I said, when the skin files away, in her case, because that skin is it's very dry and it is dead, to an extent because it's, it's already been pushed up um it's gonna expose even more space it's gonna expose what's under that and it's not it's not cute let me tell you something i was like oh damn or what's gonna happen is see look how close i needed to be see how close i needed to be there's it's such a fine line between flooding your cuticles and really getting that shit in there it's such a thin line and you can see with this nail this white nail how in there it is versus 
the nude nail that I just did that it's not really it's not really as close as it should be it's such a really thin line and I should do a video on what flooding the cuticles is because I see a lot of people well I not anymore I guess because I don't really pay attention to like other people's stuff that closely but I, I uh, and I was pissed because I was like so damn how did I do that so it's such a thin line with flooding the cuticles because it could be so slight that you really don't even notice until later on you're filing and it's just like oh how'd this get here or it could be something so noticeable where you just are chasing your beads and, and going back and forth and that's really not what you want at all so here go the thumb and I'm gonna let you guys watch the thumb let me run upstairs I'm not even going pause the damn voiceover I'm gonna just run upstairs get the charger and I'm gonna come the hell back okay don't go nowhere because I'm coming back okay Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Because let me tell y'all, the way I was running up them stairs, the way my titties was bouncing, I don't have that much. But it was enough. Whew. Okay, let me plug you in. Let me plug you in. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Woo, child. Okay, so you see the cuticle area. Make sure you got that apex sitting right. Okay. Whoo, we made it please okay so make sure that apex is right you see how I'm tucking everything in look how I'm going back and making sure you see how close that is now if I were to lift her skin up you would be able to see the tiniest little space <sighs> that's when you want to see the space see right now okay that's just acrylic random acrylic but do you see how close it is to the skin it's not on the skin and you look at the nude nail See how that new nail is not as close as the others? You can, I can see the space. I shouldn't be able to see the space at this moment in time. Let me get some. Ooh, let me get some. Some dog on shoes. I didn't have to run speed racer style. I just didn't know how much time was left. Okay. So I know smaller nails can be tricky for people. It's tricky for me at first. Or people who bite their nails, things like that. All those type of things kind of fall into this type of category okay except for like severe nail, nail injuries because I don't do I don't if someone has a severe nail injury to where they're missing a certain amount of nail I won't do it I don't feel like it's safe I don't feel like people should be putting up tutorials on people that just have skin what the hell is the nail sticking to like I don't care if nobody says I've tried to do that shit before and extend the nail bed with clear and make the nail as long as it should be and then put a tip I've done that before and you know what happened I told the girl I didn't want to do it she's very persistent I said okay watch what happens I did it before we were even done with the set like I was filing the nail came up and she started bleeding because she only had three nails with half a nail that was damaged growing back in it was just a mess so just don't do it y'all don't do it so now we're gonna transition into using the e-file now this is just application okay now this is the this hand that I'm filing is a hand that I just did and we're doing it in real time so you see how I'm going around normally I use the lowest speed pop like I don't say the lowest speed possible but a very low speed like under 3,000 rpms I'm pretty sure on her I had to go a little bit above 3,000 rpms just because her skin around her cuticle was a little bit stubborn and so I needed to make sure that the barrel was going to continue rotating against that because if you're filing and your your barrel stops rotating that means your, your file is going too slow 
for those of you who, don't, who didn't know. And when your file is going too slow and stopping like that, you're not going to properly be going around the cuticle and doing your finished filing. So now look what happens when I'm going ahead and doing this nail, like I told y'all. So do you see how the, the, the cuticle is filing off around her epinicium? I'm going, I'm going, and I knew right away, like, damn, I fucked up. Because look, as it's revealing itself and it's filing away, do you see all that space? That's what I'm talking about. That's why you need to make sure you get as close as possible. Okay, I did not get as close as possible and this is the price I paid. If I had gotten closer, like I was kind of supposed to, nothing would have happened. But do you see that space? That's not what we want. So basically what I ended up doing is after I filed this hand, because I went, I, I did this one first, I believe. Or no, I think I did this one second. And I'm going underneath and just cleaning up the curve, just making sure the sidewalls are not too thick after application, because you never want them too thick. But basically after I finished this hand, of um, using the e-file I immediately I just put a little primer at the top because it's like filed so you know I went ahead and primed it just a little bit sometimes I do sometimes I don't when I have to fix it and then I just added the smallest bead like the smallest bead so now look what's going on with this white nail see how I'm going around the cuticle area and that skin is just kind of flaking off it's because it's dry it's pretty much dead now if she were to start bleeding that's a no-no that means that's live skin and you need to stop now you know clients can get cut and sometimes it's not always your fault you know sometimes the skin is very dry or sometimes they kind of jolt um, there's a lot of reasons why look at that apex look at it oh y'all see the side profile listen cute beautiful and depending on the type of tips that you use will depend on the type of apex that you have etc etc I know people who use um, straight tips they tend to have a very more flat appearance I use regular tips or most people would just say oh curved tips but they are regular 50 cent tips out the nail supply okay and you know I go on top with my regular file my hand file and I'll go ahead and I'll get rid of some of that apex because it, it, it was a little bit bulkier than I needed okay but do you see how I'm filing around the skin is just flaking away the rest of that cuticle area the skin that can't was pushed up off the cuticle area it's just flaking away and that's why I said in the beginning you don't have to worry about trying to get rid of every single little bit of skin but to each their own I'm comfortable waiting towards the end because that's just how I work I know that there's certain things I don't have to do it now because guess what it'll be easier to do later and the quicker that you can do something sometimes and you could um, minimize your prep time the more time you have for the actual set okay so I did not include regular filing and the only reason I did not is because I felt like it was not gonna really help you guys um, one way or another just because the application was so smooth and good that you guys watching me file for a couple of minutes I it would really just be for the heck of it and this video is already long enough so you know I don't want to put nobody through extra time so yeah clean everything up now the next clips when you see me done with the filing um i'm about to show you guys buffering okay buffering buffing bitch buffing <laughs> so normally i don't show you guys how i buff the nails i always buff the nails unless i just don't have buffers i usually buy buffers you guys are going to see me use a whole buffer i use fine grit buffers i cut them in half because i'm cheap and because you're going to throw them away after each use did you hear me you throw it away after each use don't don't let nobody tell you use a big buffer and use one side oh one side is new so you can use it on a different kind don't do that bullshit okay so here we go i'm showing you guys different clips i'm really buffing this is why because you need to get out the scratches from the file and underneath when you file uh, like the tip and everything like that just pieces of the tip get trapped under there so also I go over the skin with the buffer to get rid of any little um, acrylic that may have gotten stuck because sometimes when like using monomer and then like you're touching them so stuff gets sticky and dust sticks to them I get rid of the dust that way and I'm going on her cuticle area on her epinicium and I'm just buffing off the rest of that dead skin 
And that is why I said I don't need to get rid of it all at once right away in the beginning with the scissors because the skin was so rigid and it was tough and it was stuck to the nail plate. It's no point. Like, I don't want to hurt her. And that's what will happen. If you force that skin to come off too much and too hard, you're going to hurt them and you can cause them to bleed. Just FYI. So you see, I'm going to show you guys how much better it's going to look after buffing. And of course, she's going to go wash her hands. And then I'm going to show you guys the final results again. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to show you guys um, the results of filing all that soon. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, follow me on Instagram, Nails by Pretty Face. Here's what it looks like after I buffed and did all that. This is the final result. This is filed. And I'm going to show you um, another angle, the curve. Like, just look how smooth and look at how nice my work is. I am so underrated and slept on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here goes the final result. Y'all already know, turn the notifications on because I upload daily. Look at this set. Come on, y'all. And uh, y'all know I'll see you tomorrow.